Hi, welcome back. In case this is the first time you tune in, this is my devlog series, where we follow me, build them a first indie game. You can check out the full devlog playlist on the description below and understand what this is all about. With this said, let's jump into it. In past episodes, we have built the fundamentals of our prologue. We've introduced our main protagonist and antagonist. Now, my task it will be develop some kind of pursuit where the alien will take control over the octopus mind. Initially, I did a pretty straightforward alien attack. Taking advantage of the head movement that I have done previously, I thought it might be a good idea to take the shots randomly while the hands were turning. It was okay, but I needed more. First, I started with the octopus hellbar. For this kind of sprites, hellbar, menus, etc., I will develop a more detailed design than the characters itself. Like this. Let's see that hellbar in action. I also have add a little opacity over the octopus when it's hit. It still needs some improvements. Now let's make those bullets explode when they hit. And finally, let's add a little camera shake when the bullets hit. Great. I will also let you know that throughout all this person the octopus won't be able to do anything but dodging the alien's power until he loses. Since it's the prologue he won't have any more choice. Besides, at this point the little octo is just that, a little octo, who doesn't know anything but to swing with the flow and the tide. That is why we need all those little details that will give some more spark to the prologue. I still think I need some more, but I will think about it later. That will be it for today, but before I leave, let's do a little something else and let's create an indicator to give everything we've done a direction. So here's a quick summary of this devlog so far.
Awesome, I think this prologue is almost complete. So next episode we will be starting with even some more cool stuff. I will see you next time.